Hi there, I'm Katie for Rusty Kit, and I'm going to be showing you how to make a pico. Alright, so we're ready to make a pico. I already have three double stitches on my needle, and the pattern calls for a pico. And it's good to remember when it refers to pico, it doesn't mean any of the double stitches on either side of it. It only means the loop itself. Now how you make your pico is actually just by using your finger or an object as a spacer when you make your next double stitch. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my finger space. I like to do about a fingernail's width, just right like that. I'm just going to hold my finger firm and then I'm going to go ahead and make my double stitch on the other side. And when I pull it tight, I'm only going to pull it to the tip of my finger so you can see how there's a space there. And I'm going to go ahead and finish my double stitch. Once I've finished my double stitch and it's secure and I remove my finger, then I can slide this together and there you go, I have a pico. So I'm going to go ahead and do three double stitches on the other side. Okay, so now you can see I have three double stitches on either side. And this is what I mean by the pico only being the loop. So this is the pico. So you never count this double stitch or this double stitch as part of the pico because all the pico is is the loop between. So this is a normal sized pico. If you were to make a small pico, it would look something like this. I'll do my three double stitches on this side. I like that. And if you were to do a large pico, you can just make a bigger space with your finger. And really a pico can be as large or as small as you want or as large and as small as the pattern calls for. Slide it together and you can see there's a large pico. So go ahead and practice this and if you have any questions just let me know. Mm -hmm.